Hello, in this video I want to uh, review uh, how we can render uh, faster components in Blazor application. So, in some cases we need uh, really high performance and the regular Blazor component sometimes is too slow. So we need to look and find some ways to make it faster uh, we expect as framework will how to say mature or uh, as time will go it will become more and more faster and big job big uh, step will be when ahead of time compilation will be available and so on but before this uh, we need to have some way to make our components uh, critical for performance parts uh, for our application to make somehow faster. I will show you now uh, I was um, uh, building this uh, virtual grid uh, component about a year ago and uh, scrolling was too slow and uh, I found a way to make it faster as you see now we can very fast navigate and it has no delays but if i use just regular blazer render uh, approach it, it it will not so fast it had the delays so i found one trick uh, instead of just regular render, I am uh, generating all information and uh, sending to JavaScript and updating DOM element from JS. I will not talk more about this virtual grid. I want to show you my current uh, use case. We have here some text which should be converted uh, to another uh, script. I mean, in Georgian language, we have three um, kind of alphabet, new one, old one, and oldest one. So in this case, uh, we, I try my user, my customer to learn old alphabet, and I try to help. So we have some text, it, uh, and we can uh, convert with different logic letter by letter, word by, by word, uh, paragraph by paragraph, we can uh, convert some percentage and so on. It is not important for you, just what I want to uh, show here. If I have large text like this, you see, we are waiting now. It took some time to render. So if I change percentage you see I am still waiting and it is respond responding too slow it is not too large text I want to say but still we we are slow so we need to find some way to avoid this situation okay and you see uh, there is garbage collector garbage collector uh, doing a lot of stuff so this is not good. Uh, I will switch now. First, let's see how long it takes to render. I will close this because it will be faster. Okay, let's see how fast is it. And let's take this one. Okay. Uh, I remote okay I remote um, time report it's okay uh, now I will uh, use another uh, way I will use JS render for this I will just change this to false and run again application now you will see that it is much faster Okay. Uh, 
it is much faster it's about 10 times faster but still it is not perfect still we are waiting and still we have not perfect performance but it is much faster now okay how can we achieve this well, what what i am doing for that uh, i have text component here which is dynamically where i using builder tree i generate all this stuff and render when we say it's regular render i am going and usual way here is going some stuff a lot of stuff is going here we don't need just let's see in one situation i am using builder open element close element add attribute and so on in another case i am doing this everything uh, in string builder just how it will look as HTML and then I am sending this HTML to JavaScript okay here let's see what is receiving this and then JavaScript just applies to one particular div this HTML So, I am generating all HTML, sending to JS and rendering to div. That's how it works. Uh, let's see. Okay, it's our HTML. So we rendered some HTML and then applied to this div. We have div here and JS just uh, updated this element and inputted this everything. Okay, how is it faster? First, I have installed here my uh, library to Fast communicate with JS. It's here. It is uh, it it is uh, responsible to send this information fast to JS side. Okay, let's see here uh, on after render. I am sending all this information which was uh, stored in String Builder. And then saying to JS that it should render. Okay, we are coming here. It's taking this information which was stored by uh, library and just rendering here. So everything works. Everything looks good. Uh, one thing uh, was a little bit hard. How? In this case, I can, uh, uh, how to say, I, I can subscribe for events. Yeah, uh, as you see, when I click, there is happening something. So my Blazor application knows that there happened something, and we see here that my uh, span has on mouse down and on mouse up. In regular case, I am just using a regular way to add to attribute. Uh, I mean, event callback factory create, and I am uh, on mouse down. I am relating with some action and then sub subscribe for this action and uh, that's how 
I handle this event. But in in this case, I am using different way. I am having some function already in JS. Let's see. We have some function, route event, and some argument. Yeah. When uh, we when I generate uh, HTML, I am adding this route event and current item something as argument. And what happens then? It is called. It is calling uh, libraries uh, handle message, which I am subscribing for. Uh, let's see where I'm doing this. Okay, here on message I am subscribed. I am receiving argument and I am doing what I want. Let's see again. So when I click some letter, it is telling me which letter it is and so on. So I, I have two way I can from here do something, regenerate with highlighted letters or from here I can have events. Okay, let's summarize. So we are able to have faster renderer than uh, regular blazer components. Uh, it is obvious, it is about 10 times faster. You can, you can try also, you can use my uh, visual grid now visual grid is uh, open sourced but uh, sorry virtual grid it's in my demos there should be somewhere but it's in different Okay, but it is a little bit old one. It is using same technique, but uh, it is old one and it is not using fast JS uh, instead of library. Uh, this is better, this is easier to use. It is available on Nougat. I am here just installing it and then is using it in my code very easily. Here I am just sending and here I, I was subscribing for event. That's it. So, okay. Now we have faster way. We are not limited. We can have exact same result because what is at all doing blazer component it is generating html and updating dom that's it yeah in this case we avoid this we are doing this by ourselves sending information to js and uh, i use library because library is doing this much faster uh, because i am using a low level mono api something something which is sending very fast we are receiving information in js and applying to our any element we want little bit uh, hard part was how to have events also but as you saw we have also events and we can uh, subscribe for any event we can have any arguments uh, available and so on okay now I can finish if you have in your application some critical uh, parts where you really need very fast uh, components you can try this way and hopefully in the future we will not need these tricks doing some uh, strange code and the blazer itself will be fast enough but for now before it will be available you can use this and 
um, I think there is nothing wrong. If it works, everything what works is good. If it's faster, it's good. Thank you. I hope it was interesting. Good luck. Bye bye.